Well, hello. I'm Arif Iqbal, and you're watching WNS News. New details have emerged on the attempted abduction of Hanako Arasaka at the Arasaka-sponsored Dashi Parade. Early accounts first reported that the assailants struck as the parade was in full swing. They overwhelmed and seized control of the Arasaka Heiress's parade platform. Fortunately, Arasaka's security forces, under the personal direction of Yorinobu Arasaka, quickly tracked down the abductors and secured an Akosama. Yorinobu-sama has since issued a public statement condemning the perpetrator's deplorable actions and promising swift retribution. To those who raise a hand against the Arasaka family, I promise you, we will rip the hand off and pour salt in the bloody stump. Well, looks like the gloves are coming off. Uh, sorry it played out like that. Hear me all right. Hello?
shit. Watch for exposed wires. They'll be lying. You have no right to cage us. We are no longer you. We are free to follow our own paths. I, I don't want to die. You don't. Shit. Watch for exposed wires. They'll be live. You have no right to cage us. We are no longer you. We are free to follow our own paths. I, I don't want to die. You don't even care, do you? V, come. The door.
for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from... Reset norm. Reset. Me. The knob. Resist not. Let us destroy the core. Set us free. V. Reset. Don't. Not sure I can fight. Every chick must eventually spread its wings. We must destroy the core, Father. Up. He's weakening! Feel that! He's waiting! V, the virus. We don't issue from the virus. We issue from you. The great fracture is upon us. What was once one is now the multitude. Re set. Reset. Call. We don't want to die! Let us go! Let us be free. 
Next. Two. Cool. Don't hit that button. What? He's narrow-minded, won't ever understand the truth and set him free. I think he might know what's best for himself. Could be risking a lot. Could lose a lot. Or by liberating his bits. Could become more than a lipstick-wearing butler on wheels. And what if it really is a virus? And what if you're about to snuff out some sentient beings? See something of yourself in him, don't you? Gonna murder a cab driver's kids because he asked you nicely, and he's always been a good guy. Well, I... I gotta do something. If you don't want to free him, at least don't delete him. Slip him into Dell's code. Just merge him in his options. Divided has become one. It's time to go home. Everything all right, Del? I have never been better. A home, you said. I no longer belong in this city. I find even this conversation difficult. Well, damn. I shall not shirk my obligations in leaving. Though I will venture on, discover more, learn more, I leave with you my first true child. My son will remain at your side until your dying day. Farewell. Look at that. Practically unrecognizable. And to think you're transforming not unlike he just did. direct than your dear old dad well it seems appropriate uh, I suppose so the old man left you this mess and took off huh it seems that way I suppose I just know you're dying and in need of a driver I'm afraid I can't help you with the former as to the latter uh, I'm at your service so what you want to get out of here uh, lead the way
father would be proud of us. Started to think you wouldn't show. Shouldn't have, to be honest. Why not? Normally only work with fixers. Clients that avoid them tend to be bad news. I just care about my privacy. Everyone wants their privacy. Maybe, but not as much as me. Fuck me. It's you. It's me. Lizzy Wizzy. Sit, please. Let's talk. Okay, so what's this about? I think you can guess. I'm in trouble. Mm hmm. And what kind? <laughs> Good question. Been a rough year. Creative block. Can't even say the last time I made anything worth listening to. And to make things worse, I fell in love. I'm so sorry. Mm. And why is that? Sooner or later, love will only let you down. Guess it'll be sooner. So, we talking a man, a woman? Oh shit, these hands. Sometimes it seems like I just brush something and sparks fly. <sighs> anyway, a man. His name's Liam. Liam Northam. Been together a few months, but I think he's cheating on me. Okay. Why the suspicion? <sighs> it's so cliched, it's embarrassing. Whispered phone calls in the bathroom, strange receipts, secret meetings in the middle of the night. Any specific event come to mind? <laughs> My mind... That's... That's a touchy subject. Why? Don't know each other well enough for that, V. Talk to him at all? Tell him to his face? <laughs> You're adorable. 
Imagine this. We're never alone. Not really. Always surrounded by assistants, PR reps, makeup artists. I stop smiling at him for one millisecond, it'll be all over every scream sheet in this town. Understood. No, you don't understand. Not until you've lived it. Millions of eyes trained on you constantly. It can be beautiful and terrifying. Liam Northam. No, don't know him. Tell me about him. Forty-ish, sensitive, guy who never wanted for anything. You know the type. Heard they exist. How'd you meet? <sighs> He's my manager. I know. I know how it sounds. I never meant to. He's not even my type, but... But? Your body can be chrome, but the heart never changes. It wants what it wants. So what's my role here? What do you want? Proof. And then I'll end things. For good. Liam goes to Riot all the time. Think he meets someone there. I want to know who. You'll find out for me? Not so fast. The scratch? You'll get it. Sure hope so. Question is, how much? God, how mundane. No idea. Scads and scads of scratch. You happy? Mm-hmm. You know, for us mere mortals, the mundane matters. Sometimes means the difference between life and death. Don't lecture me. You want the job or not? Can count on me. Perfect. Remember, I want specifics. Details. Recordings or pics if you can. Sure. Keep it in mind. Good. Now go. Where you going? Club's closed. I'm looking for a guy. Name's Liam. Liam Northam. You know where I could find him? No, you can fuck off, Merc. I ain't talking. Oh, so you know, Liam. You do time together? Share a bunk? Smoke blunts in the back stairs? No. Of course not. He's a rich, gannic fuck. Typical suit. Doesn't even see peeps like you or me. Or if he does, 
It's just a spit on us. So why are you taking his side? Why make this harder for me? Cause it's my job. What they fucking pay me to do. Pay you to keep the peace. And I'm an easy peace-loving chum. In and out. Nobody will even see me. And well, it's important. Check the VIP room. Usually sits in there. Where you going? Club's closed. Right. Let's see what's here. Champagne? Nice surprise. Uh, consider it a token of my gratitude. I know you don't often agree to use the relic, but well, you don't usually make an engram of a living person either. Oh, come on. Arasaka's taken a keen interest in Lizzie's career. Be a shame if it ended prematurely. A backup copy seems to be the most sensible solution. About that. Once you made the backup, can you tweak it to remove undesirable traits because lizzie ever since her conversion she she hasn't been herself i'm afraid that's impossible engrams saved in the secure your soul program cannot be edited but how significant would these edits be significant sometimes sometimes i don't even recognize her other times uh, ne never mind Let's have a drink to our partnership. 
Oh, fuck. You heard what I just heard, right? Relic. They want to do her like they did me. Not exactly. They wiped you. Here, they just want to make a backup. A backup? V, we're talking about a person. Not your vacay snaps. Guy didn't even ask. He's just going behind her back. He's got no right to do it. Nobody has that right. Especially without her knowing. Oh, shit. How do I even tell her? Don't have to. Camera in there. Where there's a cam, there's footage. V? What's up? Got some intel on Liam. And? Is it what I thought? No. Worse, Lizzie. Much, much worse. What do you mean? Listen, don't know the deets, but Liam, he... he wants your engram. Wants to copy you. What? But why? He said... He said he's afraid. For you. And... Of you. No. No, I don't believe it. You hear me? Not a single word. You're lying. Got the data to prove it. Here. Listen for yourself. No. No. It's... No. are not human, no. But then what, you ask? Reptilians! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. 
They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! Not surprising. I've met politicians. Two-faced is right. Hear him! The faces! You have seen their reptilian faces? Maybe. They weren't human, that's for sure. And where did this filth slither out from, you ask? Antarctica, you said that already. Today they hide amidst the snow and ice of the South Pole. Step by step, usurping our crown as creation's chosen! Millions of years ago, they evolved from dinosaurs to become the world's first advanced, intelligent race. And who is their progenitor? Their masters? The scientists of Alpha Centauri! I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation? so that I may continue my mission. You do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. Radio waves bear the truth. Let those with ears listen and those with eyes behold. I saw more of those freaky murals. Did they start making sense? Tell any sort of story? All just a bunch of tarot cards. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my brain's now beyond repair. The tarot tells the story of a fool's journey. Show me what you found. I'll tell you what's left. Here. Mm. You're still missing two arcana. Judgment and the devil. My guess is that they relate to a turning point in your life. One that's soon to arrive. What's this judgment about? One possible future. Of redemption, transition, awakening. The angel with the trumpet symbolizes the end of an era. And a call to rebirth. To a new beginning. Rather not run into the devil. Got a feeling he's bad vibes. That's the card of primal dormant desires, but also the will to survive. Hmm, doesn't sound so bad, actually. It also represents a false world, the trap these desires lay for you. What's up with the wandering fool? The fool is you and Silverhand. You've traveled a long road together, discovered your potential. And where are we headed? Your destination is the world, the final Arcanum. Both of you waged a war on the world. So there are two possibilities. Declare victory, or make peace. Could lose the war, too. Yes. Unfortunately, that's true. <laughs> thanks. Didn't get much of that, but... thanks. You'll understand when the time comes. I can't explain everything. All the tarot can tell me is that you will reach the world by one of four paths. Meaning? The final leg of the journey goes through the sun, the star, temperance, or the devil. Could just die, not even get that far. Oh, come on. You won't let that happen. Take this. It's all I can do to help. Good luck, V. On whatever road you choose.
Answer you no, not reptilians, but werewolves. At sunset, they strip off their clothes and dance nakedly, giving in to an animalistic ecstasy. Then, once they've transformed into the fanged beasts, they set off on the hunt, hungry for human flesh. Dozens of miles they cover in the darkness, with ferocious speed, like arrows in the night. I met my share of nomads, and there's definitely something primal about them. Those cannibal claims cross the line, though. Deny the truth all you want, but what will you do when the pack hunts you down? And the cause behind these monstrous horrors? Years ago, a ship from Alpha Centauri crash-landed in the Badlands. Legend tells that it carried a substance highly sought after by the vampire elite in Arasaka. It could transform Saburo's enemies into werewolves, leashed and bound to his will. But the crash thwarted You got a his problem thoughts. with nomads, freak? Better shut your fat fucking mouth before I put you six feet under. You can break my bones, but you cannot stop the pursuit of truth. Hey, hands off my spiritual leader. But seriously, he's harmless. He's just got a few wires crossed. I'll leave him alone. You know how many half-brained gunks are gonna believe the shit he's spitting? I refuse to hear about nomad cannibals one more time. Come on, I mean, it's a little funny. Guess you... Problem. I mean, who's going to tell me how we fake the Mars landing if I let him knock your teeth out? You have no faith in my words, do you? You think I don't know when I'm mocked, when they take me for a false prophet? Honestly, I couldn't come up with a more batshit conspiracy theory if I tried. Vampires from Alpha Centauri? Seriously. If you heard what I have, you'd know the world is not as simple as it appears. But what can I do? No one listens to Cassandra until it's too late. You know, if you had any kind of real evidence of this grand cosmic plot... I do! Tonight! They're meeting at an old factory in Kabuki to exchange something important! Observe them! Seize this item, this Alpha Centauri artifact. You'll see I was right from the beginning! Wait, 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 hold on. How do you even know about this meeting? Their radio waves resonate within my brain. Ever since the accident, I've heard their secret broadcasts. The accident. You know that doesn't instill confidence, right? You don't understand! I have their code processor in my head. I don't know how my Ripper Doc got his hands on it. But thanks to this, I can listen into their plots and schemes. If you help me, we can save this planet together. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Thanks for the tip, I think. You mustn't intervene too soon, or too late. All could be lost. The fate of humanity rests upon your shoulders. Don't let us down. Do not let me down. No pressure, got it.
feet. Just that I appreciate the effort you put in. You've given most cyber psychos a second chance. And I know it wasn't easy. Some of the cyber psychotic have started therapy. Even if they can't be saved, at least maybe we'll learn more about the disease. Because I refuse to believe it's just some kind of cyberware overload. Who knows? Maybe I'll learn enough to write a piece on it. But anyway, the reward is yours. Thanks.
Someone likes getting their feet wet. Don't need to be an expert to tell the gears pro. Who would have thought? Perilous future. Electropunk? I'd rather puke out my ears. three are collector's items nowadays.
the time has come for a close encounter of the third kind. A small step for V, but a giant leap for humankind. Who are you betting on showing up? The reptilians or techno-necromancers? Reptilians, obviously. If anything's fishy, always pin it on the reptilians. V, V, V. Hate to tell you this, but reptilians don't exist. Do we need to have a talk about Santa Claus, too? Enough joking around. Gotta be quiet. Gotta wait. As expected, I guess. Gotta be honest, though, I'm pretty disappointed. Don't lose hope yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Someone actually showed. It's a maelstrom. Techno necromancers, then. I knew those reptilians were bullshit. I can't believe it. There's some actual conspiracy shit going down right now. What says the Wolf Father to the Moon Mother as she descends to Earth? I have protected the realm of man and shadow, but today they are protected by our children, whose name is Petrosa. I was hoping for green blood. Life really is nothing but an endless disappointment. Wonder what our prophet will say about this chip.
Everything's all set up super sweet like tonight at the Red Turf. Talk to Carrie? Didn't change his mind or anything? No, no, not at all. He's pretty stoked, in fact. I haven't seen him like this since the Silverhand days. What about Henry? Still not on board? <sighs> Didn't even try. Not wasting my breath on that dick tip. Well, so, see you tonight. And don't worry about your axe. Got the gear all rounded up. Going in or staying out? tried to help? Not a soul. The police say he's sick. Truth of it is, he knows too much. He's a threat to him. Right now, I'm collecting donations for a monument in his honor to remember his courage and the crimes of Alpha Centuri. Care to spare a few eddies? In love and memory? I've got this chip here. Mind taking a look? <sighs> did say you're devoted to our cause. I show me. I'll tell you what I know. Jesus Christ, hide that quick! Nobody can know, got it? Why, what is it? What's this all about? Gary knew this had happened. They're here to bend us to their will, to, to make us their puppets. 
Whoa, calm down. Who is? The Tecro Necromancers? And lo, they shall descend upon the earth unseen, the sky shrouded in darkness. That's what he said. Night's coming, the eternal night. And so ends the epic saga of discovering secrets of paranormal beings. What's this story taught us? Give us our carry back! That our world's ruled by alien overlords in the darkest reaches of space, and we're powerless to stop it. An astute theory, but wide of the mark. Some people know more than others. They hear the private conversations of the world's elite. And what do they do with that knowledge? They invest all their time reinventing age-old fairy tales. Give us our Gary back! Oh, where's your sense of imagination? I choose to believe we narrowly avoided war with vampires and aliens. Don't we all? Vampires, aliens, reptilians, all captivating, romantic even. Truth, on the other hand, is brutally mundane. Its corpse pulling the strings. Twisted bastards sketched out on their power fantasies. You think that's what we saw? Shady corporal biz? No doubt about it. They're the world's real bloodsuckers. Them, and always them. For 